fluent sarcasm. I remember I was um, at a religious service on an occasion and an individual who had been a friend for a while, not a church member, uh, spoke to me about a member of the extended family and said, oh yes, that person spoke fluent sarcasm. Um, I know what it is to have a smart mouth uh, and to be sarcastic. Uh, I speak from experience. Uh, as I've grown older, I came to realize that that word sarcasm comes from the New Testament word, the Greek word sarx, which means flesh. Actually, sarcasm means the tearing of the flesh. <laughs> oh, gosh. Now you tell me. So uh, here, as we find ourselves on January the 12th, um, in the 12th chapter of the book of Proverbs, there's about nine verses that talk about speech, uh, the lips, the tongue. Uh, the words that we speak, uh, and just a couple of verses just to f reflect upon today. Uh, Proverbs chapter 12, verse 18, reckless words pierce like a sword, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. Uh, you know, I grew up with the phrase, and you might have too, uh, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Um, it's familiar, but untrue. Words can be very, very hurtful. Reckless words uh, pierce like a sword, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. Uh, best commentary on the Bible is the Bible. Same chapter, Proverbs 12, verse 25, says this, that anxiety and worry can weigh down the heart of a person, but a kind word, a good word, can make him glad or cheer him up. Uh, you know, we've um, just come through the holidays and um, believe it or not, one of my favorite holiday songs is actually not a holiday song. It's an old Mer Merle Haggard song. If we make it through December. Man, you know, the holidays aren't happy for everyone. I think of the buddy of mine that lost his wife, um, fellow that went through divorce, just a lot of stuff, illness. It's just a lot of stuff, uh, loss of job, loss of income. Holidays aren't necessarily a happy time for everyone. Um, there is that person that because of worry, anxiety, care, is just weighed down. But you and I, each and every one, have the ability with a good word, with a kind word, to make that person glad or to cheer that person up. Let me encourage you to watch your words. Uh, you don't need to speak sarcasm, much less fluent sarcasm. Proverbs 12, 18, reckless words pierce like a sword, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. God bless you. Have a good evening.